Hello, welcome to Gopal Astrology channel once again. So you have been watching my videos continuously. Um, it has been interesting. Many of you have put uh, very good comments. And today I will be talking about a very important topic about how to uplift the business opportunities or career opportunities um, or there is some problems in your jobs. How to make it uh, in a proper uh, channel uh, through Vedic Astrology. I will give you a very, very simple technique, you know, and uh, once you implement this properly, uh, you should be able to see the good results in 6 to 10 working days. So why I am saying this is um, it's practical. I have uh, implemented this with uh, many of my clients and they have come back to me with success stories. And that's the reason. This was also actually uh, recommended by KRS Astrology Channel. I'm a very big fan of, fan of uh, KRS Ast Astrology. And uh, all right, friends, let's get into the actual video today. And I am talking about improvement of business, your work or career. Suppose you have some ups and downs happening in your business or you are having um, uh, some problems in the work. Uh, you may be uh, retrenched or something like that or if there is a lot of ups and downs in career. You are not able to build a career in the right way that you really intend to. And this is the video for you. I'm going to give you a very simple uh, boosting remedy technology in Vedic Astrology. Okay, we will use the Vedic Astrology 10th house of career and then we are going to activate this particular uh, remedy. All right, so how do we do this? Let's try to understand. This is the basic Vedic Astrology chart and I've just taken the basic uh, Kala Purusha Kundali here, starting from Aries, Taurus, Gemini, etc. Okay, now the placement of Implore in the horoscope is extremely important. Let's take an example. A very simple example of Saturn being the Templar for Mesha Lagna or the Aries Lagna. Okay, it's simple. You, your Lagna can be anything. It can be Cancer, Leo, Virgo, anything can be there as your Lagna. I'm just assuming that your Lagna is Aries and your 10th Lord is, is Saturn. Let's say, let's put 10th Lord Saturn in the second house, okay? So in this condition, how is that uh, we need to put this remedy in place? Okay, it's very simple. Go into the further details. It is not just the house that we are going to see. We are not just seeing the zodiac sign, but we are getting into the further details of the placement of that particular planet in a particular constellation or nakshatra. Let us assume that Saturn is placed in the Mrigashira nakshatra. See, if obviously, if you do not know what are these nakshatras and stuff like that, I have made some more videos. You can, I will be putting the hyperlink uh, in my uh, description of this video. You can always go and understand what are nakshatras, all right? So let us assume this is a constellation of Mrigashira, okay? And let us say it is in the first padam. Okay, so once you know this, we are going to not activate the Taurus or the Vrishabharashi, but we are going to activate the Murugashira Nakshatra. So how do we do that? So there is a particular thing that you need to go back to your Vedic Astrology chart and analyze the position. Now we know that the position of 10th house, uh, the ruler of the 10th house is Saturn. And then where exactly Saturn is located? The Saturn is located in Taurus or Rishabrashi in this horoscope. And then it is placed in the Nakshatra of um, Murugashira. Okay, so this is the detail uh, you need to go into. This, is, this may be tough for many of the new guys here. So, but uh, as long as you have a Vedic astrology ch uh, chart that is done up with you, you can always get this tabular column done. Okay, you need to review this tabular column. It tells you in detail what are the planets, which are the Rashis they are placed. Uh, Rashis means zodiacal sign, obviously, and then in which degree angle it is placed, and also in which nakshatra it is placed. So here the catch is Saturn is located in the nakshatra of Mrigashira. That is what we are going to activate. Now I will give you one more table or column here. Please understand this is the table made from the Vedic astrology context and it gives me each of these nakshatras okay, and then the class of that animal which is associated to the particular chart. 
Okay, so now how to read this? For example, let's take Saturn, which was our example, which was placed in Mrugashira Nakshatra. So when Mrugashira Nakshatra it is placed, and the symbol of that animal it is related to Mrugashira is actually the serpent. So this is actually the class of the Yoni or the the uni of that Murugashira Nakshatra is serpent. For you, when you do your chart, it can be any of this. If it is Shatabisha, we are going to put horse. If it is Revati, we are going to put elephant, Kritika is sheep, so on and so forth. I would recommend you to take a screenshot of this particular slide and then you can go back to your particular chart and understand where is your 10th lord located. So you can, you can it can be any of these animals. So what I recommend you now to do is very simple. Do something like this. In this case, what I have told is Saturn was located in Mrugashira Nakshatra and the animal was snake. So what I need to take a printout is take a printout of that animal and what is the color of that particular planet. You must understand the color of planet Saturn is either dark blue or black. So this snake image should be mostly printed in black. Okay, so we need a black snake to activate Mrugashira Nakshatra. Okay, once you got it done, see it can be for anything. So now you will get uh, you will get me into a question. For Saturn, you told me black. Okay, sir, I understand you. How about other planets? So for each of the planets, there is a particular color associated. If it is Sun, for example, it will be orange color. If it is uh, Venus and Moon, it will be white color. Okay, if it is Jupiter, it will be yellow color. If it is planet Mars, it will be totally red color. Rahu Ketu, we totally mm, do not consider much because they are shadow planets. I give maximum importance to the actual planets only. Okay, the ones which are existing. So shadow planets do not come into picture. So we will print the color of that animal. For example, if you get rabbit, okay, if it is a rabbit and if it is a Mars, then you have to print the rabbit in reddish color. Okay, and then print it. And then finally, you have to put your signature at the bottom of that picture. Okay, so this is very, very important. What is that signature? When you are putting your signature, you are committing yourself. So you are, yourself means I'm talking to your soul that your 10th house of karma, Lord, has to be activated in this life in a proper way. This is the real remedy. Okay, once you put the signature, when you are putting your signature bold and clear, please make a sankalpa or make a, make a clear cut mind that you are going to do your best in whatever work that God has assigned for you in this Janma or in this birth. Okay, you are going to put your signature and then you can go, you can laminate it or you can place it any in any plastic bag or something like that so that it, go, it don't get disturbed. Uh, and then you are going to hang it next to your business area wall okay suppose you are sitting in an office or anywhere it can be anywhere if you are a, if you are a small shop owner you can put it in your shop where you put your cash cashier is going to sit there you can put at the top of it so some place where you can activate it clearly people can see as well you can display it there put your signature and that's it the remedy is done okay this is all it's very very simple you know and then if you do it with sincerity, whatever I told you, you will see the success within six to ten working days. Why I am saying six to ten? Uh, I mean six to ten days. Okay, what do you mean by six to ten days? Six means sixth house is all about the day-to-day -day routine activities, and tenth house is the house of karma or the profession. So I have just estimated that six to ten days you should you should at least get a direction. I'm not saying that you will win a lottery, a million dollar lottery or anything like that, but at least you will get a direction in your life that you need to progress in this way and then the success can be seen. Okay, some opportunities and ideas you will get it and then you will start moving into it and you always keep sticking to this. Do not remove it. Once you place it there, let it be there fixed in that position and then you will see the magic happening in your life. And I hope um, uh, I have explained it enough. And try this. If you don't believe me, try this. If you fail or pass something like that, please put a comment in my uh, comment section below. And I will, I will always be appreciating your uh, feedback. Thank you very much. We have come to the end of this video. If you have any questions later on, please post it in the comment section. I will reply to you 
whenever I have time. Thank you very much.